hello everyone uh, welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have c to the power of 4 is equals to minus 4 and we solve this problem for the values of c so you see here uh, the order of this equation is 4 it means that this equation has 4 roots and now we need to find all that 4 roots so for this first we need to uh, move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become the c to the power of 4 and plus 4 and this is equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we rewrite this equation as this is c to the power of 4 and we write it as c square and its whole square plus this is 4 we write it as 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, here we uh, use the completing square method to solve this problem uh, and now you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and you very well know about the formula of completing square uh, we know that if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so in order to complete the square of above term you see here we have uh, these are uh, we have these two terms a square plus b square and we need this term only two times of a b so in order to make this this term uh, we need to add and subtract uh, the above equation by the term 2 times of a b so here our a is c square and b is 2 so we add and subtract 2 times of c square into 2 into the this equation so our above equation is implies that first you have c square and its whole square plus 2 square and plus 2 times of c square into 2 and minus 2 times of c square into 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to focus in the first three terms and you see here we have a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so when you combine all of these terms it will be written as c square plus 2 and its whole square then minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 times of c square and this is equals to 0 and now here we need to move this minus 4 times of c square to the right hand side and it will become c square plus 2 whole square is equals to 4 times of c square and now uh, here we need to uh, take square root on both of the sides in order to find the values of c okay we will just take a square root on both of the sides and in the left hand side you see here these two and this square root are gone and uh, we obtain here this is c square plus 2 is equal to because here we take a square root on both of the sides so that we will we will write this plus minus sign on any of the one side and now you see here 4 square root equals to 2 and c square square root equals to c only and now we break this into two cases the first is we write the positive value which is c square plus 2 equals to plus 2c and here we write the negative value c square plus 2 is equals to minus 2c and here we move 2c in the left hand side and it will become c square minus 2c plus 2 equals to 0 and from this case c square plus 2c and plus 2 is equals to 0. So here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So now we need to uh, solve these two equations simultaneously for the values of c uh, so that uh, first we need to focus on equation number one and now uh, here we can copy down equation number one here uh, and it will be written as uh, from equation number one we have c square minus 2c plus 2 is equals to 0 this is our equation number one and first we can solve this equation so uh, for this equation first we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 
B A we can write the capital A okay capital A equals to 1 capital B equals to minus 2 and capital C is equals to 2 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now here we need to put the values of a b and c here and it will become c is equals to minus b and we have the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 minus 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now we need more simplifications and it will becomes minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of here we need to take common 4 and we get the remaining value is 1 minus 2 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now you see here this is 2 plus minus we know that square root of 4 equals to 2 into square root of this is 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and here we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 2 over 2 plus minus this is 2 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 this term is cancelled out by this term this is cancelled out by this term and we get c is equals to 1 plus minus iota these are the first two complex roots of the given equation which we get here from equation number one and now here uh, we need to copy down equation number two here and our equation number two is that c square plus 2c plus 2 is equals to zero this is our equation number two and we get the other two roots from this equation so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital A equals to 1, capital B equals to 2 and capital C is equals to 2 and again we state the quadratic formula as minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. And here we need to put the values of a b and c the value of b is 2 it will be written as minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 and 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a and a here our a is equals to 1 so here we have minus 2 plus minus here we need to take common 4 inside the term and we get 1 minus 2 and it is divided by 2 and here we have minus 2 plus minus here you get the square root of 4 equals to 2 and 1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 inside the square root and we get minus 1 square root and we know that minus 1 square root equals to iota and here we break this fraction and we can write these two separately on both of these values so this two is cancelled out by this two this is cancelled out by this one and we get our c is equals to minus one plus minus iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have four complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos